Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for this Friday, March the 16th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, sitting in for James Fan, who's traveling to Indianapolis to speak this weekend at a weather conference. National temperatures across the United States early on this Friday morning, just after 5 a.m., 55 degrees in Miami is actually colder this morning than the 61 degrees there in the middle of Kansas at Salina. Uh, warmth and moisture spreading up into the um, middle of the United States, uh, thanks to low pressure over the western part of the country. Uh, you see a weak low pressure system there in uh, northwestern Kansas. Strong low pressure moving on to the uh, west coast of the United States. Actually, was a tornado warning. Uh, Sacramento area in California yesterday, along with some uh, flash flood warnings in Hawaii, some uh, aerial flood warnings in parts of California yesterday uh, as that big storm system moves on. A little uh, weak ridge of high pressure over the uh, lower Mississippi Valley uh, into Alabama. Disturbance moving over that, though, this morning. Uh, we'll produce some showers later today and tonight. Here is uh, the regional temperature map uh, at 5 a.m. this morning. Uh, we've got 30s and 40s across most of the year. 51 in the Birmingham uh, at the Birmingham Airport in the Birmingham Heat Island. There, uh, cooler temperatures in areas where clouds were slower to move in overnight. Southwesterly winds, southerly winds beginning to kick in, uh, warming things up. Regional radar shows uh, showers, and um, I, I, I guess those are just showers. I didn't really look, but uh, mainly showers over southwestern Mississippi back into Louisiana. This uh, activity associated with disturbance tapping that. Uh, Gulf moisture that has moved up into the lower Mississippi Valley. It's going to be spreading east today, bringing an area of showers into Alabama. Here's the HRRR model for 9 a.m. this morning, showing uh, that area of uh, rain and showers moving into eastern Mississippi. It will begin to uh, move into western Alabama during the late morning hours, reaching the Tuscaloosa area before noon, and into the I-65 corridor by mid to late afternoon with some showers. But it's going to be weakening as it goes. Not going to be a washout today by any means. Just a few scattered showers. Keep the umbrella handy today as you go through your daily activities. Now that activity slides up and over the ridge, starts to move to the southeast and weaken tonight. Here's the HRRR model for 8 p.m. this evening, showing the uh, activity pushing into south-central Alabama. Now, high temperatures today. If you liked yesterday's temperatures, you'll um, like these too. Upper 60s to lower 70s, quite common across the area. Now, the SPC does have a marginal risk of severe weather to the west of Alabama as uh, that low pressure over Kansas moves to the northeast, pushes a weak front into our area overnight tonight with another weakening band of showers. Uh, any activity would be mainly, any severe activity at least, would be mainly to the west of us, maybe encroaching into northwest Alabama, but we're not really concerned about any severe threat out there for Alabama tonight. Here is the 3-kilometer NAM showing that a weakening band of showers moving through Alabama on Saturday morning. This is for 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. You can see uh, it's mainly going to leave us the chance for a pretty good day tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow with a little more sunshine uh, will rise into the lower to middle 70s. We could uh, flirt with 80 parts of uh, southwestern Alabama down there around Demopolis, 78 around Tuscaloosa, calling for 76 here in Birmingham tomorrow. Now here's the SVC two-day outlook uh, for Saturday, showing a couple of areas of uh, marginal severe weather risk, one to the northeast of Alabama, that system moving on out, another system getting organized over Texas tomorrow. But again, for here in Alabama, we say we say we'll be warm and mainly dry tomorrow. Now we switch over to the uh, GFS. Uh, we get through most of Saturday dry. Um, a warm front begins to lift northward across uh, the area on Sunday. And as it does, it's going to spread another uh, band of showers and uh, thunderstorms into Alabama, most likely uh, late Sunday afternoon into um, Sunday evening. So we'll deal with some uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, during that time. Uh, again, don't expect those storms to be uh, especially strong to severe, but you probably will hear some lightning and thunder and deal with some uh, rainfall uh, Sunday night into early Monday morning. Now, um, another band of showers and thunderstorms, as you can see, surface low over southeastern Missouri there uh, on Monday evening. Uh, that's close enough to uh, produce uh, an area of showers and thunderstorms that will move into Alabama uh, late Monday afternoon and Monday evening. And uh, I think then we're going to have to deal with the uh, chance of some strong to severe thunderstorms. You can see Cape values off the GFS 
uh, over 1,500 joules per kilogram over much of north and uh, central Alabama with some higher 2,000 to 2,500 joule amounts over the southern half of the state. And uh, that will be sufficient, of course, to produce strong thunderstorms. Now, the low moves on off to the northeast, begins to reorganize itself, another nor'easter for uh, New England, uh, probably some more heavy snow mounts for interior parts of New England. Uh, ahead of that system. We'll deal with some lingering showers on Tuesday, uh, northwesterly winds, uh, lingering clouds, and uh, the GFS actually printing out a little bit of snow there over the Ohio Valley. Temperatures here a little bit too warm for that, but by Wednesday morning, we're going to be back in the uh, in the chilly temperatures uh, near 40 around the uh, I-20 corridor, some uh, upper to, or really actually middle, uh, lower and upper 30s over the northern part of the state. The rest of the forecast for uh, next week becomes a temperature forecast. This is off the GFS. Uh, we'll be in the 70s over the weekend. Still in the 70s on Monday. It was mild overnight lows in the 50s. Things will begin to trend down by Tuesday. We'll be back in the 50s for daytime highs Wednesday and Thursday uh, with overnight lows. Uh, generally in the 30s to near 40 degrees uh, Wednesday and Thursday morning before we start to moderate uh, as we head to the weekend. We'll be back near 70 degrees. And uh, the next weather maker. Uh, comes in late next weekend. Alabama stays mainly dry, I think, most of the weekend. This is the GFS at 240 hours, which would be for next uh, Sunday at 7 p.m., showing uh, low pressure over the uh, Oklahoma-Texas panhandle. Uh, That low pressure uh, spraying showers and thunderstorms over parts of the Ohio Valley, but Alabama staying mainly dry. That's your uh, weather extreme video for this Friday, March the 16th. Have a great St. Patty's Day. Enjoy uh, that tomorrow. Today, of course, the second uh, of my favorite sports days of the year, the NCAA basketball tournament. First round continues today, so I hope you get a chance to catch some of that. And uh, until next time I get to uh, talk to you, have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.